1 p.m. midweek on Bondi Beach. A small crowd, gentle surf, perfect conditions. So quick. Beautiful day, huh? Oh, sensational. It's not the time when you'd expect things to go wrong. Five off-duty lifeguards happen to be taking part in a photo shoot following media interest in Bondi Rescue. Amongst them is Hoppo, the boss, and Corey, one of the most experienced lifeguards on the beach. Halfway through the shoot, a dramatic event unfolds right beside them. A man's found floating, lifeless in the surf. It's here, we've got to get off the beach. Get off the beach. His name is Takahiro Ono, an English language student from Tokyo. No one knows what's happened to him or how long he's been in the water. Right, right, mate, right, mate, no, someone go and get on the uh, radio. There's a radio on my bike and call for the dude for you. Check pulse. Hoppo can't detect a pulse. Bagging, come on. He's not breathing. Bagging, come on, come on. Bagging. Tucker is clinically dead. You grab the mask. The boys must get his heart beating again and air into his lungs. It's a male, about 20 years old. Uh, they got him on the bag now. I'll get back to you with more info. Everyone, I can't really feel that. Yeah, mate. Danny arrives with a deep fibrillator as Corey starts CPR. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tucker still has no pulse. Stand clear, stand clear. Watch out. Stand clear. 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 Check pulse. If no pulse, give CPR. Check pulse. If no pulse, give CPR. I can't get one. It's not CPR. The deep fib doesn't work on Tucker first time. The machine needs time to recharge. Corey continues CPR. 11, 12. The ambulance has been called. Paramedics are on the way. Just if you need anything else, give us the L. Yeah, copy that, Chapo. 30, 40, 15. It's four minutes since lifeguards got to Tucker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The machine needs time to establish whether he has any heart rhythm. Stand clear. Do not touch patient. Analyzing rhythm. Tucker's had two shocks. He's in spasm. Patients rarely survive if they need more than three shocks. Tucker's been clinically dead for at least four and a half minutes. He has one chance left. I've lost it. Stand clear. Stand clear. Stand clear. Stand clear. Stand clear. Do not touch patient. Analyzing rhythm. The third shock has finally had an effect. Do not touch patient. Analyzing rhythm. Um, I won't shock again. Breathe, Still stand clear. Stand clear. Stand clear. Stand clear. Analyzing rhythm. Breathing, yeah. It's alright, mate. It's alright. Pulse. There's no pulse. Give CPR. He's got a yeah. faint pulse. He's, He's got... breathing, mate. It's getting stronger. Take a good Be pulse. Strong. Take a good pulse here. Okay. He's been in the Stay water. Up. And you swallowed a lot of water, okay? Stay. Just relax, mate. Just, Just relax. relax. We're looking after you, okay? Understand? He's got a strong heartbeat now, strong heart. Just, Just keep your head there, mate. It's OK. He's giving you some oxygen. It's OK, right, it's mate. OK. It's right, buddy. It's OK, mate. Just relax. Just take it easy. Good work, boys. All of his A. Good work. Try deep breaths, mate. OK? As they wait for an ambulance, lifeguards try and piece together the events that almost killed Tucker. What, what happened to him? I don't know, I, I, I ought to swim in the water. And he just 
that kind of floating or what? No one knows how long Tucker was clinically dead in the water. But for five minutes, the lifeguards kept him alive on the sand. Despite the trauma of a major medical emergency, Tucker knows who and where he is. What's your name? Takahiro. Takahiro, Takahiro is it? Yeah. I know we are. Tucker? Yeah. Where are you? Where? Bondi. He said Bondi. 